Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking braised ribs with radish and carrots. So let's start cooking. Now we'll start to cook our dish. I'm using La Gourmet 32cm Galactic Wok. Add in some oil. We'll need to caramelize some rock sugar. Add in 25 grams of rock sugar. I'm using medium heat now. Melt them up. We need to caramelize this. Caramelizing the sugar will add a very nice color to the dish. When you see bubbles forming up like this, it's time to add in our ribs. I have with me over here, 650 grams of ribs. Put them in. Move them around. Try to coat them up. Now we add in 200 milliliters of Chinese rice wine. By using Chinese rice wine, you can get rid of any porkiness and it will enhance the flavor of the dish. Add in two tablespoons of oyster sauce, three tablespoons of dark soya sauce, a piece of cinnamon bark, approximately four to six inches will be good, one piece of bay leaf, one star anise, 20 grams of young ginger, slightly crushed like this. Just put them all in. Mix them up well. Now add water, just enough to cover the ribs. Turn the heat up high, put the lid on, and we'll wait for this to come to a boil. I'll see you back in a while. This should be boiling now. Yes, it is. Put back the cover. Turn the heat down to low. And we'll simmer this for 40 minutes before we add in our roots. I'll see you back in a while. We have been simmering the ribs for 40 minutes. Let's have a look. Wow, smells awesome. We will now add in our roots. I have with me over here 320 grams of radish cut into cubes like this. And 140 grams of carrots. Just put everything in. This will add a very beautiful tastiness and sweetness to the broth. Turn the heat up to medium or medium low. Put the lid back on and we'll cook this for another 20 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 20 minutes is up, let's have a look. Yes, give it a little stir. We'll just give this a try. Wow, really, really nice. We need to salt this a little bit. Half a teaspoon of salt, as well as half a teaspoon of sugar. Gently just mix them up. Turn the heat up to medium now, and we have thickened up the sauce. Thicken up the sauce with a little bit of a cornstarch solution. Let the sauce evaporate a little, and make sure that the sauce can coat on the ribs nicely like this. And once this is done, we'll have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. We'll try the radish first. Mm. It has absorbed the taste of the sauce very, very well. Carrots. Mm. Extremely soft. Now for the ribs. I have to use my hand for this. Wow. Mm. With steamed rice, this will be the best. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. Thank you and see you again. Bye.